Add it up. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow pizza enthusiasts. Welcome to episode 28 of Pizza Talks. I will be your host for today, Thomas, also known as Odin. And with me, I have the meme-tastic... Chris, thank you for having me. It's nice to have you here, and uh, you being so meme-tastic would, would be, you would be the perfect guest uh, for this episode, which is centered around memes, memes and meme culture. I am pretty experienced in memes. Uh, you were experienced? Oh, yes, experienced, how experienced in memes. Uh, I would say that I was... I'm a child of the internet. A child of the internet. Yes. A they child. My, my nation- a child. No. <laughs> they ask my nationality. I'm saying, you know, Greek, but... But? Not yes, really. That's actually very true for me, too, and a lot of people around here. Yeah. Especially in Dury. We have exactly. a lot of especially in international culture. Internet culture. Internet. International internet culture, which says it, says it all. So, basically, I was going to ask you mm-hmm. a few things about memes. Why are they laughing? I don't know. Our our cameramen are being weird. Um, they're, being, they're being weird. Very weird. Um, I was going to ask you, um, when did you first get introduced into memes? I don't think you're introduced into memes as a child on the internet. Mm. Um, I think that you just kind of find things that they are funny. You don't really know why they're funny at mm-hmm. first. Mm-hmm. You don't really get it. You try very to... True. And especially since you're a child, like a lot of things seem funny. A <laughs> child? No, stop it. Stop it. I'm trying I to can't. talk, man. I'm sorry. Um, um, for context, whenever we are like together on campus or like anywhere, we just regurgitate memes yes. over. Like it's a constant yes. cycle of memes. Like yes. we don't actually say anything. Exactly. We're just like. <laughs> We're just yeah. memeing out. And this is why he invited me to the podcast. He's like, you need to be on the podcast. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to talk about memes. Yes. I'm like, I've never been on a podcast. And. We've said nothing. We we just talk about memes we all the just, time. Yes, yes. So you know, I mean, it, this is this is also a time to connect, but also a time to meme. Yeah, it, it works though. It works. It works. Yeah, I, I think, should be I looking into very, there, right? That's my camera. Yes, that's your camera. That's my camera right over there. Cool. Stare, stare deeply into their souls. I am. We don't I judge you too much. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, but not you, too much. You probably judge us more. Yeah, probably. Yeah, mm. we do look a, 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 a little too mean. Sick people, judgmental. I don't like you. How dare you? So yeah, so, um, yeah, to answer your question further, um, you're not really introduced into memes, but are they you? are they are things that carry um, cultural information. Yes, very true. Um, I didn't do re- really I did not quickly. do research for this episode. I did not do research. I didn't do research either. This is this is supposed to be what the format is. Like, yeah, meme, yeah, memes are like that. So we're like that too. Yeah. See, that was the idea. Especially since this uh, recording was supposed to be on Monday. I didn't do any preparation because I didn't have any time. Uh, yes. But yeah. Well, uh, what what age was that, though? What age do you know. think you started, like, understanding memes? Okay. Um, I made my YouTube account in 2009. 2009. So I was nine years old. You were nine this years makes, old, this, right? this is relevant. You're a kid of 2000s, I see. Yes, oh, oh. 2000. A year older than me, then. Indeed. Indeed. But probably younger at heart. Oh, that's good. That's good to have. Yeah, as long as I'm young enough to say that. <laughs> um, yes, I, I guess. Yeah, so, you know, before that, um, I probably made my YouTube account because I wanted to save videos that I found funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I pr- so probably like slightly before that mm-hmm. uh, was the time that I was introduced into memes. And then um, as kids on the then very new social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook, we would share a lot of memes with each other, Mm -hmm. mostly rage faces. Ah. So that was, that is my earliest, that is my earliest, my earliest, um, you know, memories of actual memes that everybody recognizes. I see. Big on 9gag and everything too? I was never really a big 9gag user. Oh, Because I found it cringy. Yes. Yes, it was. was I was, I was a Redditor. What? At, at what age? age? 13. What? Yeah. My that account, is quite impressive. My account has like eight years of service on it Wow, or that's quite impressive yeah. actually. It's it's impressive, but I, I, I saw a lot of things that I shouldn't have seen. <laughs> <laughs> Reddit. Yes, kids don't go on Reddit if you never had. Mm, yeah, if, if, if you've never been to Reddit, don't start now. Just stay away. It's fine. You'd, we, yes, 
you don't need to go there. I promise. Well, now now it's clean. Now it's a clean place. I think mm. back then it was very very strange. Mm. Um, so still not that very. very would clean. you care to answer your own question? Yes, as well? I will. I will answer my own question. I was about to get into it. So basically, I was uh, introduced into. Please don't die, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> okay, so to uh, to answer my 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 own question, yes. Um, I was introduced into memes by my brother because I have a brother that's a lovely brother, by the way. I know you're watching this, George. Oh, that's cool. Yes, that's cute. He does. He does watch the podcast. And that is he, very. He sends. Cute. He sends feedback sometimes. It's it's cool. I like it. Love that. Yes, he's nine years older than me. Nine years older. Yes. Okay. Nine years older. His name is George, and um, he introduced me into like YouTube and memes and everything. Ah, uh, around. Should have been. Should have also been around two thousand nine ish. But he he used to show me things. Uh, uh, a lot earlier than that, because I was like, you know, like uh, also regurgitate some some things, uh, more like early early Dota stuff. Like oh, okay. Do- like early Dota two stuff, um, or like lol stuff. Like there 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 was a lot of League of Legends memes, like like League of Legend memes, hmm. like Mordekaiser. But pizza feet. Mordekaiser is Wait, that's uno. that's relevant because pizza talks. Mordekaiser yes. pizza feet. Yes. There you go. That's a meme that's yes. relevant right now. <laughs> So he he would show me things, and at some point I started like um, funny thing. It's, it's really funny. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm ready to laugh. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got you've got pressure See? now. You already left though. Oh, I got you. <laughs> um, you know how there were smart when the st- smart TVs started coming out. Yeah, I would watch YouTube videos. Wait, smart TVs are gay. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Go on, go on, go on. No, it was a good joke. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> nice. So yeah, yes. Smart TV started coming out. Congratulations <laughs> for them. Yeah, go on. So so like we had an LG Smart TV, which had the capabilities of playing LG YouTube or videos. LGBT Smart TV. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on. LG, maybe LGBT. Maybe uh, LGBT. Oh, well, it could be whatever it, it wants. Could be, it could right. be, yes. Um could be a flying helicopter for all i care for all i care i i'm pretty sure uh, it's not a helicopter it's a tv i think so too because because it was it was in our living room I, and, uh, i'm derailing this far more than i fine. should go it's on it's fine tangents are nice we like tangents um so i had we had an lg tv that had, <laughs> that had <laughs> the capability of playing youtube videos so i would watch uh back when minecraft came out i would watch like uh What's what was that channel called? It was Yogscast. I, I would, loved the Yogscast. I would watch Yogscast so much. You know, and that's I would also I, watch memes and stuff there on the TV before I got a PC. I absolutely loved the Yogscast. That's where I picked up my British accent. Really? Which I'm not going to use right now. Oh. I'm not going to because Do you remember Honeydew? Of course. Oh, Honeydew, Honeydew and Blue Zephos, bro. Blue Zephos. Um, yeah. So old. Yeah. Diggy Diggy Hole. Diggy Diggy Hole. Love that. Yes. Um, and the, the Jaffa Cakes Factory. Uh, I lo- I didn't, dude, I love Jaffa Cakes. I didn't know what they were. And then my mom, like, coincidentally got the equivalent of Jaffa Cakes. Oh. And I had them and I loved them. And I'm like, yes, oh, this is amazing. Okay. They're no, so spongy I, and they have the jelly. They're snapping yes, the chocolate like on top. Honeydew oh, was a man of culture. Yes. Yes, he was. It was not a lot of people like Jaffa Cakes, and that makes me sad. That makes me sad. Yeah. You should do better. You should do better. Honestly. You watching this, eat Jaffa Cakes. Do better. And if you don't know what they are, they're those little spongy like cookies with chocolate on top, dark chocolate See, on they're top. See, not, they're not cookies because they're spongy. Spongy cookies. There's no yes. word for them. They're Jaffa <laughs> yes. Cakes. Cakes, yeah. but British cakes. Yes. You get British it. Cakes. Anyway, they have they're orange really inside nice. them. They're yes. great. Orange jelly. So good. Orange jelly. So zesty and like tasty. We derailed this conversation completely, but that's fine because it's very relevant because Yogg's Guest used to make a lot of memes mm-hmm. about Minecraft mm-hmm. and Minecraft was a big thing coming up then. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Captain Sparkles also. Captain Spark. Yes. They, he made the meme songs that everybody... Yes. There was a revival in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, of actually. Of Revenge, the Revenge, song. Revenge, yes. Which I had memorized all the lyrics. Also to. Creeper, oh man. <laughs> Creeper, oh man, that's the song. <laughs> yes. Uh, I had memorized all of the lyrics, but like I didn't know the original. So I just heard the Minecraft parody over and over <laughs> and over and I memorized all the lyrics. Ah, so what was the original song? It Was it Teo Cruz Dynamite? Yeah, Teo Cruz Dynamite. And it's it feels weird to hear the original now. Yes, it does, it does. The parody is the original, obviously. Yes. Got Creeper. more views. 
It got oh, more views. Oh, man. It did get more views. That's true. Ted Cruz was very pissed. And he, he uh, was? Yeah. I, I he, didn't actually see that. He, he, took the, he, took the reve- he took revenge down. He got revenge on revenge. No way. Yeah. It, it was down for a few months. And then uh, Captain Sparkles, he, he added a different instrumental to it and oh. a different melody so that it didn't sound like um, Dynamite. Mm-hmm. And then I think they, you know, they they didn't go to court. They just had like a, you know, dispute. back and forth. Yeah. yeah. A, a dispute. And for some reason, um, Creeper O'Man won. Nice. <laughs> so it's back on. I'm actually proud of the guy. Yeah, so am I. Nice. Very good. Very good. Um, so Minecraft was a big, very big source of memes. It was a huge source of memes. Also, huge source of creativi- creativity. Mm. Creativity. Can I, why, why can I not speak today? I don't creativity. know. Creativity. Yes. Uh, actually, the way I went to say it, it sounded like cretin. Which like, cretin. What? You cretin. You cretin. Um, yes. I, know, I know that this is about memes, but I am very curious about how you got into Minecraft. How I got into Minecraft. My brother got me into Minecraft. My brother got me into Minecraft. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. so my brother actually showed me, I, I went to his room. Like he would have his PC on his desk and like play things. And I was like, oh, what are you playing? I would be the the annoying, annoying younger brother. I would poke him and um, he showed me poke where. Poke him. Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you playing? What are you playing? Answer me. <laughs> <laughs> Answer me, damn it. Damn it. Yes. And he would be playing So Minecraft. he would be playing Minecraft. And well, that was in the early days of beta. Yeah. Beta Minecraft. Mm-hmm. 2011. Yes. Yeah. And he he showed me mods and everything. I was like, oh, this is really cool. And like a couple of years later, I got a PC. And I started playing like, I think it was, I started playing at 1.5 or something. Something like that. Uh, I think it was pre, pre or is it? Yes. It was after the release, the 1.5, the, the like... So sort not beta one point five, just no, no beta one point five, yeah. Okay. So I started playing at uh, the the actual release one point five, was like two ish years later, mm-hmm. uh, two to like two to three years later, and I I would spend a lot of time playing. I created like a castle from scratch and everything. Yeah, like, really cool. Yep. Um, but yes, going back into memes, uh, I, I do have a Minecraft story. Oh, go just, ahead. Just go just ahead. Because so Minecraft can, is a meme. Yeah, it is a meme. It is a meme. It has become. It has been the source of so many memes yes, that I think it's yes, worth discussing. Yes. Um, I owe my entire friend groups to Minecraft. Really? I I owe pretty much my entire life to Minecraft right now because uh, my brother showed me Minecraft just like yours did. Uh, you. We had a family computer. Uh, oh, it was really, yes. Really slow. Windows XP yes. like square screen. Square. Right? Um, square. And I started. <laughs> I started playing Minecraft <laughs> Classic. Minecraft Classic. Minecraft cl- Which was basically like only creative mode. Yes. Right? That was beta 1.2 days. Okay. Wow. Beta 1. Point, like that was 2011. And um, then I, w- I accidentally pirated Minecraft. Accidentally pirated it. And I distributed it at my school. And everybody knew me as the Minecraft kid, the kid with the new, the cool new game. So that everybody came for me to me wow, for advice, that's and that's so how cool. I made a lot of friends. And I, I have these friends to this day because that's they're my best so friends. So cool. So yeah, I owe my life to Minecraft, and nice. I want to thank Notch. Notch, for that. if you're watching Notch, this, you're not you're, watching. You're this. not watching, but thank you thank so you. much. Thank you for making my childhood better. Yeah, memes, memes, Binchilin. Binchilin. Yes, that that meme I regurgitate all the time. Um, of technically okay backstory for the people who who do not speak meme, um, don't speak Chinese also. Yes, also that it's basically John Cena speaking Mandarin, so broken, broken, broken Mandarin. Mandarin. But it sounds so funny because he does it in in his own John Cena, John Cena way, which is like hyper and like bing kind of yes. like that. He makes a face like very. You know, bing chiling means ice cream. Yes, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I he's, know. He's talking about ice cream. Yes, he's promoting he's, Fast and Furious Seven. And he, he's trying remember. to promote a Fast and Furious movie. Yeah. But for some reason, he's talking about ice cream the whole and time. And he's holding the ice cream also. Yeah. In taking, a car. Taking licks out of it. Too. In a car. Yeah. Ice cream in a car. <laughs> in talking a car. about Fast and Furious. Yes. I, don't know. I don't know. It's very funny. Yeah. The other Chinese meme that I keep regurgitating is the uh, the Chinese man explaining. Oh. He just sits, sits on a rock and he goes, Yes. Like, <laughs> it's very funny. Very funny. And I have no idea what he's saying, but I love it. I've memorized it, tones yeah. and everything. It's amazing. It's great. <laughs> yes. It's actually really nice. There there are so many actually Chinese memes are starting to to really grow and it's like Yeah. They they actually okay. Let let's talk about a little bit of like internet meme history. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when we started like memeing, 
or Jesus, memeing. that's cringe. Yeah, oh, okay. That's so cringe. That's that's extremely so, I'm cringe. So, I'm so sorry. When we started memeing, <laughs> when we hey, memers, there, f- we hey memers. there, fellow kids. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. We are memers too. Yes. <laughs> we're current. We're also based and red pilled. I can't speak Greek, but <laughs> for, that's for the, for the, too funny. For the Greeks, yes. Um, um, so basically, when we started, um, we started being meme lords. Just say it. It's over I'm at this point. Yeah, it. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. Um, there was this millennial sort of humor, which was like very based on nine gag and like certain pictures and formats was like the troll face and the mm. the the girl watching the building burn down. Oh, I love those. that one. Yeah. Do we have it on here? No, we, we don't. don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We this do is not. also kind of a millennial meme, but it's it's uh, been more Gen Z. No, the the Spider Man one. Oh, Spider Man. Yeah. No, because DiCaprio is definitely a millennial meme. Yes, it's very old. Also, that, also, also that, that one over there. I don't know if they can see that. Oh yes, many, Gandalf. How many through my camera? Gandalf. Yeah. But this one lives on and it's amazing. Yeah. So does the Spider Man. Those two are more current. Those, yeah. Those two are more like Gen Z. These are Vine memes. Yeah, those are Vine memes, which Jeez. is which is actually kind of like Vine in the so middle. Long ago. In Vine the was middle. so Vine long was ago. Vine was really long ago, and I was really sad when I when I saw it go. I was like. Anyway, going on about the timeline. Yes, the timeline. The timeline. Memes. So it started off with like troll face and, and like rage faces and all like all things like that, and it slowly started evolving into more like also anime memes, and then Vine started happening. It also really depends on which subcultures you were in. Yes, because the subcultures would absorb already existing memes yeah. and like um adapt them to that subculture and yeah. you know export them back yeah, out yeah, 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 and yeah. that would also get popular so and then yeah it's it's a never ending cycle yeah. honestly memes are like so evolving you you can't find like you can't get bored it's yeah. impossible to yeah. get bored of memes they they are so current they they always get uh, they always evolve they always change like it is a very fun thing to 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 occupy yourself with and also to share um so then I think it was the Vine era, which slowly started spewing out all sorts of formats. Uh, not slowly, very quickly, actually. Very quickly, but yeah. it, none of them caught on except for Vine. Yeah. Instagram tried. Yeah, they Instagram have, tried. They are just now starting to become yeah. the meme center of the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, but for the longest time, they were just a ripoff of Vine. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. And now TikTok is, is helping a lot with, with a lot of meme formats. YouTube has become, and because people make shorter videos now, YouTube has become a place for for many shorts and and like and meme films and. They're very hard to find though. Very uh, yes, very hard to stumble upon something mm, very mm, specific. Mm. Actually, not hard to stumble upon because the recommendations are magic. Yes. On YouTube. Yes. Yes. But they are very hard to Google, find. Google, how do you do this? I don't know. Do you watch me magic. sleep? <laughs> they probably do, honestly. Do you read my mind? Meta probably does. Did I sell my soul to you? When you got an Android phone, yes, you did. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, yes. Um, and now the, the current the current thing is TikTok, shorts on YouTube and Instagram. Yep. Basically, pages upon pages upon pages. So many pages. I swear to God, I cannot keep track of them. I know uh, 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 someone with a meme page on Instagram. You know someone with a meme yeah. page? Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not that small. It's pretty it's like, common. It's got actually, a few yeah. thousand, few thousand followers. You know, it's wow. not that small. Oh, no, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Um, I also like how the uh, memes back in the day were just pictures because yes. the internet couldn't handle video back then. Yes. You know, back when the memes started, they started along with the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, the internet couldn't really handle video before YouTube. There were many platforms, but none of them really did it right. Mm-hmm. Um, but now video is ubiquitous. It's everywhere. So yeah. video memes are very popular, but image memes have not died out. They've not, they've not. And that's, the, very that's cool. the magic of it. That's the magic of it. Cause it's, it's really easy to share. Like an image tells a thousand words. Hmm. And, and I think at this point, memes carry so much cultural information yes. that if you showed a meme from like today to someone or like with no context to someone from just five years ago, they would not understand yeah. 90% of the meaning behind yeah. it because it carry like you need to know the internet history up to that point mm-hmm. exact like you you need to have lived it yeah. to know it and which that's, is why it's hard for people to get into memes mm. and that's also why i think hard. they're going to be studied as uh, you know yes. as a point as a 
part of history in the future. That is very true, actually. What if I make a meme today and it goes viral and it ends up in a history book in 2050? That thought actually kind of kind of scares me a little bit. And they give me credit, like at Chris Collos, <laughs> 2021. <laughs> Copyright. Copyright. <laughs> that would be insane. Yeah, that would be insane, wouldn't it? But it'd have to be something so impactful where it would like be, oh, we need to put this in a history book. Although it'll probably... I'll probably not get credit for it anyway yes. because History. there it'll, is it'll no credit to memes. Like, yeah, there is no credit to memes. And not only that, but if something like if a lot of time passes, it becomes public pu- public domain stuff. So, mm, Yeah, could. I mean, yeah. if you try to copyright a meme, first you of all, can. you're going to fail. You're going to fail. Oh, you're going to fail? Because. I mean, yes, because you're actually using so many things that that are at this point stolen and not original. Or even if it's completely original, which is not going to do well because, you know, creating something completely original and trying to make memes out of it is not going to work well for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, But even if it's completely original, completely yours, you shouldn't copyright memes because they belong to the general hive mind of the internet. Yes, you, you need to be, I agree. You need to be able to transform it and, and repost it and do whatever you want with it. Obviously, the original creator is going to want the recognition. That's why a lot of pages add watermarks, which I'm mm-hmm. very in favor of. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think memes are just something fun that moves the internet culture forward. Yes. It's not something to yes. make money out of. Yeah. It also holds a lot of information. A meme is holds a lot of information from like um uh regarding where it's come from mm. like all its components you can if you know the history like you said the internet history you can tell where everything's come from so it's 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 they actually they've actually become really important to our life haven't they? you know i see a lot of tiktok memes mm-hmm. that you would expect tiktok memes to be very like childish new childish oh, yeah. that you would expect them to like you know, like, who are these kids making memes, like, not knowing anything? But a lot of them are actually very, like, deep in their in their cultural content. Like, they, yeah. they contain memes from decades ago. And I love that. I love that, you know, new generations, as cringy as this may sound, like, new generations are looking back on the memes of the older generations and learning yes. what, what that was like. Yes. And that's, like, our form of communication now. Mm-hmm. Like... It I can is. I can show a 12-year-old a troll face and he can laugh at it because of what it is now. But yeah. it's still this, you get this, the laugh out of the picture, although the meaning has changed. Mm-hmm. It has, it has. Well, it was always kind of um, sort of ironic, the troll face was yeah. always ironic. But now Not it's, always. it's mm, yeah, okay. Some people were like, oh, this is so based. They didn't say based back then. <laughs> they did not, they say, did based. not say based. This is they they shouldn't say it today either, yes. but they do. I, I, I say it ironically too. Ironically, of yeah. course. Ironically, of course, ironically, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, some people did take it seriously. Some people do take memes seriously, which is kind of like, meh, whatever. But uh, it's... Yeah, and now it's 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 not frowned upon exactly. It's like, oh, look at this piece of history sitting mm. here. Oh, it's mm. all so ironic. And, and now they do the, like the face shifting where it's like, yeah, it exactly. goes serious. Exactly, exactly. So like, it's, That's what I mean. changes context. That's what I mean. Like yeah. it's a very old meme. I think the first appearance of it was in 2010. Yes. That was 11 yes. years ago. 2010. Yes. Yeah, 11 years ago. And so now like this picture is still ubiquitous. Like mm. you will laugh at it because you've seen things with it in it. Mm-hmm. Um. Some people have made entire careers out of memes. Yes. Okay, Joji. Yeah, Joji, yes. Joji. <laughs> Some people who are fans of Joji now may not know his past. Like, this man was the source. You know the Harlem Shake? The Harlem Shake. Yeah, Like, started. the 2013 viral sensation. He started that. He started that. So, if you didn't know that, Here do you your go. research. Do your research. Pink guy. Pink guy. Filthy Frank. Uh, I don't want to wanna get into that territory. Because that, yeah. that was a dark... It was Psy, that was a dark time for YouTube. Actually, it was the calm before the storm because mm-hmm. offensive meme content on YouTube was extremely prevalent at that time. Even the biggest creator on the platform, PewDiePie, was very into like that kind of offensive humor mm-hmm. with no regard as to who he's offending. Not just him, like everyone. Yeah. Um, well, and the that, internet was like that. The whole yeah, internet. Was and like that, that was okay back then. Mm-hmm. Or rather like 
nobody had really spoken up about it enough for it not to be okay. And nobody, some also, people, most people also did not care. Yeah, they they would see it as as for what it is. It was like, oh, it's offensive, ha, huh? funny, like yeah. uh, upvote, uh, repost, stuff yeah. like that. Which is which is not okay. Like it's not always okay. It's I, not always okay. It, it I think it when it crosses the line, it it starts to become a little bit like uh, yeah, you know. And it's mostly that you know channels like Filthy Frank and iDubs, mm-hmm. iDubs especially. Oh God! Oh my goodness! Um, they were extremely offensive. Okay, there is no way to hide that they were extremely offensive, but they were offensive to everyone. Yes, they, That's they made why they no exceptions, exactly. and that is and that is why nobody like came for them directly because they were like, well, I mean. He's offended every single minority and majority that I can think of. So, like, what what do I what go? What do I do? How you do know? you cancel him? But the people that tried to copy that style, they didn't go for everyone yeah. because they actually wanted to push some agenda with what they were doing, and that's why the yeah, that's that that's what storm. That's the storm. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I was gonna say exactly storm, but you know, because mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was a calm. Eh, it wasn't yeah. exactly calm, but the storm was. Uh, a it was shit, fun. It was a shit show, though. Yeah, it was a shit. Hey, you said it for me. I was um, gonna say shitstorm. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We can say that like okay, a couple times. Okay, in cool. The podcast. Couple fine. times. That's our quota. That's, that's, that's we we're right. done. With, we're done with that. No, now. but like you know. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, then, sure, bud. And then after that, after that um, whole ordeal where YouTube tried to become very family friendly, I hated that time. Yeah, everyone. Everyone it. did. Everyone did. Um, and I think I still it still presents problem to this day. Yeah, exactly. It hasn't recovered. Um, but memes didn't die. They did not. They will never die. In fact, I think people radicalized even more, mm-hmm. which yeah, is very Gen bad. Yeah, Gen Z humor, which is the humor we're experiencing the past like four or five years, is oh boy, <laughs> it can be questionable. There's it a lot is of very. Qu- it, it can be very questionable, but it's also some things are so dumb yet so funny. Like me and the boys at 2 a.m. looking yes. for beans. <laughs> I was about to say that. This is literally the pinnacle of Gen Z humor. It's, it was, I I first saw that, I was, I couldn't stop laughing for yes. five minutes. Yes. I, I didn't know why. Me too. I was like, me and why the boys is this man so right? Because actually the person that made this was like, oh, how to make Gen Z like yeah. memes. Was like, yeah. <laughs> slap on a, a very hyper-saturated. Yeah. Uh, a picture of shadow picture demons. Of shadow and say demons. me and the boys at 2 a.m. Yeah. looking for say beans. something absolutely random. Uh, like throw in a, a sound effect. Shout. Yeah. yeah. And you know, my favorite memes these days are abstract, like surreal memes that make absolutely no sense. Same. They're the funniest. Same. They're the funniest. They yes, just are. They are. Um, also that and also meme remixes. Oh yes! Like mixing Adele very badly into any song. Yes, yes, extremely yes, good, yes, extremely yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's where the internet has come to now. We also, we laugh with everything. Yeah. Also, anime. Anime. The past like six or seven years has become mainstream. Yeah, anime is course. completely mainstream now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It used to be very niche. Like when I started, I was I was a youngin, and it was really niche. Things. Twenty fourteen. Twenty. Uh, 2012 actually. I started watching memes 2012. Damn. I was really young. That was the the gold like 2012 to 2015 was like the golden age of anime in Greece. Yeah, because it was just underground enough to have dedicated communities, small mm-hmm. communities to it. But it was becoming really popular. Yeah. We even had a manga cafe in Athens. Yes, we, we do. We not still have that. No, it we closed. Don't. It, closed it closed down in like 2016 or something. Mm, I'm sad. Never I reopened. actually gone around so somewhere around. I hadn't gone to it, but I had seen that it yeah. existed. I was like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. Manga Cafe, wow. I, I sat there a couple of times. It was very, very nice. It had um, volumes of Naruto on the shelves that you could just pick up and read. Mm-hmm. And it was playing anime on the TV all the time. That's so yeah. nice. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Really nice. Um, and I was, you know, I was in anime circles at that time. You know, we all went through that phase, I think. Yeah, Some I of us. It wasn't exactly in anime circles. I was more of a loner loner wolf Rip. in the anime community r.i.p but yeah. um mostly again my brother was very into uh anime and so he introduced me to a lot of things his friends were very into anime he played osu i play osu i know so you know uh that was also wow. the source of a lot of memes back, back when osu is really old yeah it is i'm talking like 2014 no way. 50 yeah no like, way yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. he was really good too back th- for the time. Mm-hmm. Now, if he picks it up, he's going to suck. <laughs> I mean... Because maps have just Yeah, become, the point system has become, like, 
ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. It is. Sorry for that word, but it's cancerous at this point. You can say that. Yeah, I can you say, can say that. that. You can say that. I mean, League of Legends is cancerous too. Yes, League of Legends is absolutely cancerous. Sadly, it's uh, League popular of Legends, as ever. It's, it's the most cancerous game. I I've can say sadly played. because I play it. You play League? I play League of Legends socially. Oh boy. You know how people say that they smoke socially? Yes. <laughs> I play League of Legends socially. Yes. It's like, because all my friends play, I never enjoy the game. Yeah. I enjoy the people that I play with. You do? Okay. It makes me hate people. It, it, and it, it never it hates people. This, it makes people hate me. If you want to know something about me, I don't hate people. Like, yeah. Never. But uh, that makes me hate people. I'm sorry, League of Legends. Uh, I'm sorry, Riot. I can't play your game. Don't be sorry. I can't. Don't I be can't sorry. Play your game. They, 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 they they don't need you to be sorry. They don't need me. They They're don't need me. They're a huge company. Yeah, they don't need me. Every time I get mad at League of Legends, excuse my language, I say "shit game Chinese company" and I rage quit. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything, but it's very true. But it's yeah, it's been bought out by a Chinese company, yes. which Tencent, which is you Tencent. Know, mm. Oh my God, Tencent. Yeah, they own uh, everything now. Um, so Tencent yeah, Tencent is a monopoly. Yeah, League of Legends has uh, has also spawned. They a lot have of memes. all of the MOBA for mobile. Yeah, all of them. They made every single one. They made Mobile Legends, which was a ripoff of League of Legends, yes. and then they bought Riot Games, and they have League of Legends no, no, no. Wild Rift. Before that, they made Mobile. Le they made Mobile Legends. Then they bought Riot. Then they made a a ripoff of League of Legends, which was called Arena of Valor. Okay, and yeah, then, no, that was a that was a ripoff of um, another game, which is three v three, which was a, a no, like no, a, no. Arena of Valor was like League of Legends. The map was pretty much the same. Okay. But it was it was League of Legends for mobile. Okay. And it was so close. Okay, I might be confusing but the it, two. But it also had things from uh, Mobile Legends. Mm -hmm. So it was it was an amalgam of things. I used to play Arena of Valor. That's why I'm saying that. I know. And now, I've been through that. And now they also have League of Legends Wild Rift, which yes. is the official one. And they, they, they run all three at the same time. Yep. Yep. Imagine. Monopoly. And they try to make them seem like different things when they're the same yes, company. they are the same exact company. same thing. Same company. So there you go. Chinese company. Yes. That does not mean anything towards China. Yes. It's just a Chinese company. That is just a fact. It is just a fact. Because, you know, they, they, Take just, it as they, you just, they just own everything now. Yes. Do you, 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 might, you might want to put disclaimers on, 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 on that one. Uh, y yes. Mild um, offensive humor. It's not offensive humor. It's not even humor. It's not even offensive. It's just... Stating facts. I'm not stating them with some agenda in mind. I'm just okay, saying. Okay, don't get defensive. It's fine. Yeah, Own it. No, no. I'm, I'm owning it. It's a shit game Chinese company. Yes. However, we were talking about memes, not yes. shit game Chinese company. It, it's a, League although is that a is, meme. Although that is a League meme. League is one of the, the oldest meme formats. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Meme Mor formats. Mordek, Mordekaiser is number one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm actually. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not Do old enough to know that. You're not old enough to know I that? I started playing League of Legends only in 2016. Oh. So I'm not old enough to know that you. one. I, I played League of Legends in 2013, and then I stopped. It was awful back then. Why did you play it? Because everybody was playing. I was like, okay, I'll hop on. I was young. Uh, I played. I stopped playing. That's the end of it. Okay, fair. Yeah. I wish I could say the same. I wish. I wish you the best. Uh, you can stop playing. You I haven't played in like a couple can, weeks, three weeks. I've uninstalled, uninstalled many it. times. I've uninstalled it many times. Uh, start playing Osu. It's actually more addictive, but more healthy for you too. I tried to play Osu yes. back then, back yes. then, back when my brother was playing. Because, you know, mirroring. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I was so, so bad. I mean, so bad. And I, I'm good at rhythm games. Uh -huh. I just could not, like, my mouse acceleration was off. Like, I didn't have a drawing tablet. My oh. brother had a drawing tablet to play on. You don't um, need a drawing tablet. I play with mouse. Yeah, good. many people play. Most people nowadays play with mouse. Back then, the, the drawing tablet was the meta. Yeah. So it everybody still was is getting, the meta, technically. Everybody was getting, it, back then, it was like, like, you must have a drawing tablet or else. But a lot of pros play with ma uh, yeah, mice. Yeah, mice, mice. Computer mice. Mice. Nice. I mean, mice have gotten so much better nowadays yeah. compared to then. Yeah, like Windows Lo Lo Logitech is doing a lot of, a lot of uh, decent work. I think for for their money, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. Wait, I got I got I got a way to connect this to memes. Actually, oh, connected gaming. Yes, and memes. They have always gone hand in hand. Yes, always. Gaming, anime, and memes. Always, always, always intertwined yes. for some reason or another. Yes, absolutely. 
And uh, if you get into games, there's no way you're not going to get into memes. If you get into memes, there's no way you're not going to get into anime in some sort of way, or at least be exposed to. Yes, them. be exposed to them. Yeah. There's also game and anime nowadays have games and anime like they're very intertwined because there's so many anime games. Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Chinese company. Chinese company. Not shit game though. Not shit game. Not shit game. Very, I didn't. I didn't like it because I. It just. I. I don't have very the micro. Span. Very micro uh, transactiony, which is which kind of explains the Chinese company. Yeah. Thing, but. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. EA is worse. Like EA I, is I, worse. No, 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 yes, no. no. I play Apex. I know EA is way worse. Yeah. Apex is really nice. EA can go. Yeah. Let's just leave that there. Can go. They can just go. They can. They go. can Okay, oh wait, they can kindly, you know, like if EA was personified. Yes. Um, you know, like the Grand Canyon? Yes. They could like kindly just walk off. Yes. And nobody would care. Yes. Nobody would mind. Respawn would be free. No, they would have to pay for it. It would be DLC. Mm, no, I mean Respawn. Yeah. What if, what if like they, they had to pay to Respawn? No, no, no. Respawn, the company. Respawn, the company. They yes. bought Respawn? They bought Respawn. Shit. When did that happen? No. Five when did that happen? Ago. Five years ago. Or four years ago. Something like that. I did not know that. Yeah. Actually. Titanfall. Actually, I think all the Titanfall games are... Weren't they owned? Not, not owned, but like, weren't they a second party developer of Valve? Like, they, they use Source Engine Respawn, for Titanfall. I think... Was it? They use Source Engine for those games. So, yes. I don't know. Possibly. I, th- I thought they had connections to Valve. I'm not. Anyway. No, they're not. They don't have connections to Valve. That's the thing. They had worked in some other games that EA maybe it was, was a doing. mod. Oh, I just remember they the 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 people that worked on Respawn or actually built Re- Respawn were working on Call of Duty games. Okay. And then they made Respawn, and then they got bought out by EA, if mm. I'm not mistaken. And now EA is uh, is making every skin and everything you can get on on Apex Legends supremely expensive. Yes, yes. But EA itself is also a meme. The servers has been for the longest time. The servers, the servers. It was voted uh, as the worst company in America two times in a row, I think. Yeah. Uh, it was gonna be three, but then yeah. Comcast came in. Yes, <laughs> which is uh, everything. Everything we're talking about, you know. Why do we know this stuff? Memes. Why do we know this stuff? Memes, memes. It's everywhere. Yeah, and it's mostly. I really don't like this about memes. They are always, almost always, very America centered. Yeah, because you know population, mm-hmm. and um, sorry to bring China into into the equation again, Binchilin. but Binchilin. Yes. Um if the internet was not so restricted over there, I think Chinese memes would be extremely booming. popular. Booming, I think, yes. yeah. Um, but since, you know, the most unrestricted internet up until recently was America. America and Russia. Unrestricted. Yeah. Russia, but they, they, they type everything in Russian. Yeah. I, can't, I can't read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, that's, you know, American memes are the most... Uh, popular and that's why we also like we worship american celebrities all the time we hear you know about american companies like ea comcast this that yeah um all almost all of the early memes came out of america yeah rick astley is british i think isn't he uh yeah i think so sounds like a british uh, last name also the rick astley Astley. Hello, my name is rick astley i Hello, made, I made never gonna give you up oh, it's tuesday in it <laughs> it's tuesday in it would you like more water? Oh. I would actually, but I'm gonna yes. wait for the recording. Oh, no, no I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're actually wrapping up in a minute, so you can go get. Water. We're wrapping. We're wrapping. <laughs> could you? Uh, could you freestyle? I can't freestyle, but I can beatbox. I could say the same. So. Nice, but so I can't beatbox. No as rapping well as you. is is, uh, is is happening. Not not this episode, hmm. but maybe if we if we if we think of something, maybe, maybe meme we'll rap. Meme rap. Hmm. Do you know? Okay, there is a meme song that was pretty old. It was like 2013, I think, or 2012. There was uh called Le Gag Quartet. It was like yeah, of course. You know that? Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, it was wow. basically. You're all bringing the, back memories now. It, it was all the the millennial memes like Nyan Cat and everything yes. like that. How did we not talk about Nyan? I don't know. It was huge. It was giant. Honestly, I could it was be here the all biggest day. Meme. I could be here all day. Now that the ice is broken, I could be here all day. Yeah. I just hope. Uh, I just yeah. hope I don't get canceled. You know what? <laughs> what? Part two. Part two of yes. memes. Part two of memes. Okay. 
Sure. Part two of memes. Okay, part two of memes. Um, yes, we will do that. Shall we? Yes. Go back. Shall we? Okay. Let's pick a meme mm-hmm. that is relevant now. Yes. That has a lot of cultural information. Uh huh. Um, attached to it, and let's analyze like scholars, like like, like scholars, like what they're going to do in in history books in a okay. few in a few years. Yes, absolutely. Um, and let's analyze the what cultural information this meme um carries. Okay. What are you thinking? Um, I'm I'm thinking of some meme that has been revived. Do say. A lot of memes have been revived, especially in in uh, recent, recent, recent years. years. Um, for the record, I would like to say that my favorite meme ever in the world yes. is Dat Boy. Dat Boy? Oh, Dat yes. Dat Boy, 2016. That, the, that the, is the 4chan. The unicycle. That, that, doesn't that come from 4chan? I, I, yeah, but it, it doesn't is, matter. 4chan is the, is the Reddit of boomers or millennials, actually. 4chan is the Reddit of, of very bad people. Of very bad people. <laughs> it's older than Reddit. It's, yeah, it it's looks from the older. early, early days of internet actually really early days of, inter- of the um, internet so what's a, what's a meme that has been revived in recent years uh we said about we talked about the troll face yeah um rick rolling has has always been out there yeah yeah uh i'm trying to i'm trying to remember rick rolling is a good one rick rolling is a really good one yeah rick rolling is or um scatman john's songs Ah, yes. Yes. I'm the scatting man. I grew up with that. I grew up watching YouTube Poop. Ah, yes. With YouTube Scatman poop. John. Like, but back in like 2010. That, that that was like peak humor. Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes. Making Luigi say spaghetti 20 times over spaghetti? Scatman John. Yes, yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Um, but yeah, I mean, Rick Rolling. Rick what is Rolling, it? yes. Okay, Rick Rolling. Basically... It's Rick Ashley singing a song which is called Never Gonna Give You Up. The thing is, I, I, I kind of know the story. This started in 4chan where where people would like uh, send or like would, po- would post links to something mm-hmm. that would be like, um, let's say, oh, here's a picture of a cute puppy. They would say it's like something yeah. really interesting like or like, yeah, like really a huge discovery has been made, like go yeah. here, like stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, And it would be a YouTube link. Yeah, it would be a YouTube link to something completely unrelated to what they would what they would explain mm. in the in the title. Um, and at some point, somewhere in there, uh, one of the, the things that was thrown in was uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. By Rick Ashley. By yeah. Rick Ashley. And that's, that's, that's how Rick Rowling started. Uh, and everyone loved it. Everyone, Everyone liked it. the song because yes. it's a really good it's song. A, it's a really good song, actually. It's a really nice song. Um, and um, it spread really fast. I Extremely don't know Extremely fast. And back then, um, you know how you send a link now? Yeah. And there's a preview of what it is? Mm-hmm. Back then, that did not exist. Yeah, the, not internet exist. Was, the internet was text. The Yes, the internet was text, yeah. The, the internet, internet was, was text a, and picture. HTML. Yeah, HTML. No CSS. No nothing, CSS. None nothing. of that. Absolutely nothing. Uh, no JavaScript either. Yes. Um, so, yeah. It was just pictures and text. And so when you sent a link, it was just a blue link. It said YouTube. People trusted it because it's YouTube. I watch all yeah. my videos there. Let's click it. You know, I trust my friends. And it's Rick Astley singing Never Gonna Give You Up. Uh-huh. And everyone is obsessed with that song yes. because obviously. And it never ages. Never ages. It's always. And it's evolved through, through, throughout time so much because people want to get you by rickrolling you in different ways. Yeah. And, and they get really, really like. Uh, creative. Creative and really, really clever. Hey, see, you said it right. Creative. Yes, creative. Cretin. <laughs> Cretin. Cretin. Um, yeah, it's that's a meme that has always been yes. relevant, but in recent years... It's a really old song, by the way. Really yeah. Old. It's 90s, 1980... 90, is it 80s? Yeah. It's 80s. Yeah, yeah it, is. Right. it is. 80 80s. 80-something. I I, I'm yeah. not very... I'm not too well-versed in specific well dates in, in the 80s. Well-versed, yes. yes. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, expression. I Thank really you. like it. Thank you. So yeah, that that was that's basically a, a look into Rick Rolling, and now it's it's getting it's getting a little frustrating. Not gonna lie, <laughs> I, it's I'm, still funny. It's still really funny seeing people do it creatively. But when somebody doesn't really doesn't really try, mm. when it's like very bare bones Rick Rolling, like come on, man, you could have made this better. You could have made this more interesting. Oh, I just thought of something. Uh, how much time do we have? Okay, what we time have, is it actually? Oh, it's uh, it's six forty nine. Oh yes, we'll have to cut it. Very soon, but do okay. say last but, thing. Last but thing. I have one last thing that carries a lot of cultural information 
that anyway it's very very popular right now ironic outros on tiktok videos ah, hmm. you know like tiktok very uh, as a platform focused on very like short cut to the point videos yeah. uh, or at vine. least it should be yeah similar to vine uh some people make like five seconds of content and they will add like a like a one minute outro <laughs> with blaring like dubstep in the background and like spinning gifs uh, yes. and everything yeah and that comes from the old days of youtube yes. where everyone used windows movie maker mlg like mlg, MLG having MLG having intros and outros was very popular came from technology videos gaming videos again you know yes. gaming ties into technology it technology videos yeah they, that actually started many trends too yeah so that's you know an example of memes getting technology revived sorry had to uh, mean that i i sadly do not know that reference what no yeah it was okay it was uh someone i think in great britain uh doing like sort of a survey or like th they went into the public and they 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 would hold a banner that just said technology oh yeah why are people afraid of technology yes why are people yeah. afraid of okay. technology, technology. He, technology he would just show up yeah <laughs> like that was so funny so funny so yeah memes are culture memes are culture they are art yes they're art we're going to close with that um it, it was really nice having you it was, it was really nice was it was blast. very chaotic very it was chaotic. very chaotic and hopefully we're going to have more parts to this because we have so many things to say this is a never-ending discussion of of memes maybe next time we'll, next we'll, time we'll present yes I maybe present next, time next time we'll, we'll, we'll present some new meme, memes you, that, that people might want to get into mm. um it was really nice having you it was really lovely it was um, really nice to be here thank you very much first time being on a podcast thank you for showing up and hopefully you you'll be here again i will um so i would i would like to to ask our fellow viewers our fellow fellow, fellow are we watching us no are we watching ourselves we are also watching ourselves meta very meta no meta. <laughs> uh i would like to to ask our fellow pizza enthusiasts Binchilin uh, enthusiasts. Binchilin enthusiasts also. Um, to maybe if you'd like to subscribe to our channel to to see our, our videos and support us. Uh, ring the bell to, to get notifications whenever uh, we upload videos, which is every Monday. Um, uh, I think it's uh, GMT plus two. Mm -hmm. uh, because our time changed like last week, last last sunday I just think. say just say europe slash athens time and let yeah, them figure it out yeah, yeah it's it's athens time. It's not our responsibility it's athens time anyway so if you if, if you figure figure that out it's yeah, you should you should know when our videos come out and also like this video or dislike it if you didn't like it no don't I dislike mean, it it's send, fun. just send it to someone you don't like send it yes share it share it with your friends uh especially if they're in three and if you have any suggestions for for guests you would like to see on the show maybe somebody you know maybe a friend of yours that's very interested in interesting and would like to talk about something or a celebrity yes or celebrity i don't think we're we can get celebrities but Just if we I'll, could i will personally yeah. ask psycho to be on the next <laughs> podcast i actually know where he lives damn and that's not creepy at all okay <laughs> i know where he lives because i have a friend that lives uh right next to him yeah right, literally right next to him Sykes Ravas. yeah you have a friend named Sykes yeah. Ravas. no 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 i have a friend that <laughs> i have a friend a female friend that lives right next oh, to him female yes that. Anyway, uh, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> no elaboration. I will disregard that. And uh, thank you very much for watching. This is a wrap. <laughs>